Science Beetle. So welcome back. In this video, I want to go ahead and talk a little bit more about strings. We had talked about data types before, and so now I want to spend a little bit more time clarifying some stuff about strings. So let's go ahead and de uh, declare a variable name here. Let's say that we're going to talk here about uh, my first string. We're going to go ahead and assign the value with the assignment operator. And Whenever you're assigning value to a variable that happens to be string, remember it has to go inside single or double quotes. And so here I'm going to go use the double quotes and say the, um, I don't know, we can say here the first string. And then we can put that in quotes, start double quotes and double quotes. Be careful not to mix, mix and match the single and double quotes in the same string. Otherwise, I would generate an error. And I'll, I'll show you what that looks like here in a second. So if you, I run this, let's go ahead and display the results to the console. Let's use the print command. We'll open and close the parentheses. And inside the parentheses, we're going to put here the name of the variable that we declared. And that would be my first string and then go ahead and click run and you'll see that it's going to say my first string. Okay, that's what we expected. What was there before was what I had run in a previous uh, running of the code. But here what we've got here is says the, the first string, which is the, the value that we had assigned. Now, one problem that you can run into, you have to be careful with this. When you assign value to a variable in the form of string, you got to make sure that the quotes at the beginning of the string and at the end of the string are the same type of quotes. So in other words, no single a mix match with a double. So if you start double, you have to end double. If you start single, you have to end with a single. So I'm going to go ahead and do the example here. If I do a double ending with a single a quote, and notice if I run the code, it's going to print out an error to the console. And you can see that the error that's being shown here. So what you see here is that you got the uh, error being shown here at the very end. There's a little caret. It kind of points to the error right there. So you can see it's a single uh, quote. So that's the problem and the issue here. So we know that this is the way you can do it. You can set up any variable to do this. Now, what I want to talk to you briefly here is how do I go ahead and modify uh, these strings? Now, what I've shown you so far here, and let's go ahead and fix the error here before we go any further. Let's put double quotes. Let's run it so you can see it's fixed. But sometimes just to show you that there's a couple of examples or a couple of functions that you can use here uh, to modify the text. And so here, in line number five, we had entered the variable name on the inside. On the inside here, right after the variable name, we can actually put a dot, and that will allow us then to access a couple of functions. Here, there is one function here. So let's say that I wanted to change the entire string. Notice how I wrote it in green here, all in lowercase. We can go ahead and put all of this in title form. And so what does that mean? We'll put title, and then we're going to put here the uh, parentheses to show that it is a function and then we close it so we'll have an open and close for the function which is title and then we'll close the parentheses to the print function overall and then we'll run it and notice what's going to happen here in the output to the shell response here the first string and notice here what's happened is that the first word of every uh, part of that string the first letter of every word in the string has been capitalized. And that's because the function title allows us to do that. And so I'm going to go ahead and put this up at the very top, put that as a code. So here I'll, I'll, I'll comment this out in a second. But the title, like this, this is going to uh, capitalize the first letter of every word in a string. Okay, that's what's going on there. And so let me go ahead and comment that out. And then let's show you a second one. So I just showed you the title. There is another one here. And let me kind of just put it up here for now. The other one is known here as upper. And so upper here, and then we'll like this. This is the way you would declare it. This particular function is going to create, it converts all characters to uppercase. And so anything inside the string is going to be converted to uppercase. And let's go ahead and I do that. Let me comment it out so that we don't get any errors and put that there in the front. And let's change title here in line eight. Let's change that to upper. And let's go ahead and run it. Notice what's going to happen over here in the shell. It's going to change everything to capital letters. All right. 
well, actually, I put a capital U. Let's go ahead and put a lowercase u. So if I put in the lowercase here, let's go ahead and clear here and run it again. And you can see here, uh, the first string has now been converted to the uh, all capital letters. Now, if you want to contrast here to the way it was before, let's go ahead and make a copy here in line eight again. But this time, let's remove the upper. So we can get uh, two of these codes running and let's take the dot off as well. And you can see in the first line for line number eight, the output is the first line over here that's all lowercase. But if I use in line number nine, if I add that dot upper function here at the end of the name of the variable, it converts everything to capital letters. Okay, let's go ahead and use one more way to modify the string. And let's call this one here lower under case and so what you should remember here I'm going to go ahead and update the, the upper should all be lower case here this one here is essentially going to convert all characters to lower case is what's going to happen there and so let's go ahead and comment that out so it doesn't cause any errors for us and let's go ahead and use it let's copy the code in line number nine put it in line number 10 and this time I'm going to change upper to lower and notice what's going to happen here I'm going to keep the other two here for a second and you're going to see the first line is for the string without any uh, modification the second line here corresponds to the code in number line number nine that converts everything to uppercase and then the last line that's going to show up after that is going to be the code that is responsible for line number 10 that's going to convert everything to lowercase right back to where it started and so let's go ahead and do that there and run the code. And so you can see we get the same thing that had started at the very beginning. Probably you're asking yourself, why do I want to bother with something like this? Well, that's going to be the focus of one of the lessons that's coming next when we start looking at interactions with the user by requesting some input for the user. Sometimes when the user types in things, Although we trust the user to type in stuff, we sometimes we want to make sure that we can avoid any errors by converting everything either to lowercase or converting it to uppercase because that might be the, the thing that makes sense for us when we're writing the code, especially when we're trying to save variable data or input data that the user has provided. We want to be able to save that as accurately as possible and we want to make sure that that text that they provide can be converted to something that can be reliably interpreted every time we need to use it in the session of the code that's being run or maybe if we're going to store it in the long-term database we want to make sure that that information is stored accurately and then we can convert it back to whatever needs to be converted at the time we're displaying it to the user down the road so that is the way you modify strings but all of this discussion was all about strings remember those strings have to be put in quotes same type of quote at the beginning and at the end and we can modify them using the dot upper and the dot lower and we can also use the dot title as well catch us in the next videos we're going to continue our lessons and we'll talk more hopefully we'll see you soon